Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home and welcome to My Messy Kitchen. Today we have a delicious recipe to share with you. Today we're going to be showing you how to make these easy, low-carb Johnny Cakes. They're a perfect accompaniment to any meal you might have. And if you love Johnny Cakes, you will love this almond flour version and you will not be able to tell the difference. So, stay with us. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're going to mix our dry and our wet ingredients. So first of all, we want one cup of coarsely milled or plain milled uh, almond flour. And it doesn't have to be almond meal, but if you can find almond meal, that would work just as good. But this almond flour is pretty coarse, so it's not finely milled, so it'll work just fine for what we're about to do. Now to this, we're going to add one teaspoon of bacon powder, just your favorite bacon powder. And then we're sweetening it up just a little bit with this Splenda, or you can use Swerve sugar replacement. And we're gonna put in one tablespoon of that. I should have had all this stuff pre-measured, but that's okay. We'll just go, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna roll with it, right? <laughs> oh. Then we want about a half a teaspoon of salt. And we'll just give those dry ingredients just a whisk, mainly to get that bacon powder incorporated in with the almond flour. Okay, so now we'll do our wet ingredients and we're gonna start out with two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, first and foremost. Half a cup of Greek plain unsweetened yogurt. And then I have two eggs that I'm just gonna lightly beat together just to get that yolk and white combined so that there's not any thick spots in there. And now we have a surprising addition to this. We have a quarter teaspoon of butter extract. And that just gives it a little bit of flavor that you might otherwise find whenever you were using, say, um, regular cornmeal. So it just adds a little something special to it. So the, the two, two ingredients of the sugar substitute as well as that butter extract give it that slightly sweet taste that's paired with the savory of the salt in the dry that we would be used to in a traditional Johnny cake. Now I'm going to mix those wet ingredients in with the dry and swap to a spoon and just get those mixed up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of butter and start to heat it in my skillet. I really like this recipe because you can do everything on top of the stove. You don't have to heat up the kitchen, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go about medium high to get that butter melted. And then we have a quarter cup of melted butter that we're adding into our Johnny Cake mixture. Butter, butter, and more butter. <laughs> so we just wanna get that mixed together just until it comes together. And it'll be sort of thick and wet, but just a kind of a gloppy consistency. All right, so we've got that mixed up. We'll get this butter melted. 
and in the bottom of the pan. We don't want to drown these in butter. We just want to have enough just to create that surface on the bottom so that these can fry up nice. So I just take a spoonful and just drop it down. And I'm going to try to get about four in my pan. And because we're using butter and not oil, they shouldn't be real greasy. Now we're going to let those just cook slightly for two to three minutes over this and then we'll flip them and let them cook on the other side just until they're brown. And if you can take the top of your spatula and kind of spread them out a little bit so they'll cook a little more evenly in the middle and get them as brown as you like them on the other side. Usually one to two minutes on each side works out really well. And just take them up when they're done. That may need a little bit more on that other side. And there you have it, a big pile of beautiful Johnny Cakes. They cooked up nice and delicious. They're a little crumbly, more crumbly than probably a normal Johnny Cake. But if you need that fix of a Johnny Cake, they're perfect. They have the same crunchy outside and smooth texture of the inside. They have just that hint of buttery sweetness that you're used to, and you'll never know that they're not bad for you. Pan frying them, I know Big D asked me, he said, I would think that frying them would negate anything healthy. But you noticed we used the healthy fat of butter and we actually did it in just a very small amount so that you're only adding in that little bit of that healthy fat to the frying process. Pan fried, it's not deep fried, doesn't have uh, white flour in it at all. So. We hope that you will try this low carb Johnny Cake recipe and love it as much as we do. I've smoked up the messy kitchen using my cast iron and probably got a little too hot, but hey, you know what, it's okay. If I don't show you real life in my kitchen, I mean, what's the point? But they're perfect, they're perfectly done, and they're absolutely delicious. Mmm, I'm still hot. <laughs> This recipe, like all of our others, can be found over at thebutteredhome.com. We would sure appreciate it if you would give us a visit there. And you can get this recipe for free and a nice printable version for you to put in your cookbook. Always, as always, we hope you're following us on all of our social channels. We have a really good time. And it's so good I can't even talk. When we want you there with us wherever we are. If you want all of our videos in one convenient place, head over to YouTube, search for The Buttered Home, and when you find us, hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so that you can be notified when we drop new videos like this one. They're so good, I can't talk, y'all. I just can't talk. Well, we gotta go. We wanna eat these while they're hot, and we got some good fixings to go with them. So from all of us here at The Buttered Home to your home, we sure love you guys. Bye.